Hey guys, it's Roxy at Pink Robot and I'll be making another simple sign tutorial. Now I have three textures. This one, this one, and this one. Now if you want the textures and the brushes and the site model picture, then just message me on Facebook and I will give them to you. If but that's only if they're not in the description of the tutorial. Pro they probably will, but if I forget, just message me. Because I'm very forgetful sometimes. So, yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do, we are going to click on Image, Rotate, Horizontal. Then we're going to get our Marquee Tool, our Rectangular Marquee Tool. And we're just going to copy the site model. And then you're going to go to edit and then go backwards twice and then click on edit again and paste. That way you'll have two site model pictures. Now how to blend them in is get your eraser tool and make sure you put on your very first um, orb tool I usually use size 19, but that's just me. And I'm going to make this blend in a little bit more. Alright, so it's all blended in everything. Then I'm going to merge visible the whole picture, or both pictures, so it'll become one picture. Then I'm going to go to my brushes. I go all the way down to get this one brush and I will be using this brush. I don't know if y'all can see it or not but it's, it's a bunch of the little flowers. I'm going to get the color black. Make a new layer and you just want to like make it really pretty and creative. That's basically what you want to do. Just make it fun looking. Okay, then you want to get your eraser tool again, click on the magnifying glass, and you will want to get all the way into the site model picture, so it will be easier for you to erase the excess parts. This probably is going to take a while, so you can always fast forward through this if you want. If y'all are hearing thunder and lightning and all that outside, it's raining like cats and dogs. Hopefully the power doesn't go off or I'll be really pissed. My dogs are freaking out. <laughs> Ooh. And let there be thunder. Sorry, trying to make it funny. This is a really boring part. Alright. I don't have to be perfect, but with me, it kind of does because I'm a perfectionist. Got that side of the model done. Now I got the other side.
And just to let y'all know, if you do want this picture and I give it to you, please don't put on a rare site. Seriously, that's that's pointless. It really is. Yeah, she's not even a real site model, to be honest. So you just be putting a random picture of a nobody on your rear site. I mean, well, it would be pointless to me because I have all of her pictures, but... Still... I got all of her. Yes, I did. Okay. Next, what you want to do is double click on your first layer, which should be where the flowers are. Drop shadow. Distance zero, spread zero, size five. And it should look like that. If you don't want it like that, you can always just keep it like it was before. But I usually make it like this and make it all pretty. Next, you'll want to get your texture. You want to copy the whole thing, go back to your site on the picture, and then paste it. And of course, you've already noticed Control T is to get the size or to make it the same size. Now, if you don't want to be like that, so I just make it smaller, which is what I'm about to do. Make it like that. I'm gonna duplicate my layer. Well, that should be layer two. And just bring it over. It should look like that. Hide your, hide your two bottom layers. Merge visible. Copy. Duplicate layer. And then bring it up. If you don't want it right there, you can always make it go a little bit more up, like that. Hide your two other layers again. Merge visible. Make them visible. And then let's play around with the how you want to blend it. I'm going to make it like that. I'm going to put on lighten. And there you go. Now I'm going to exit out of that. Sorry, I, I have. I live in my family so you can hear other people. But anyway, so yeah. Then next, we're going to go to this one. Copy and paste. Whoopsie. Control T. Then we're going to play around with this a little bit. Now, if you don't want this stuff in her face, then you can always press Control T again. And just move it out of her face. And we go like that. The next, you want to get to your other texture. Copy it and paste. Control T. Press OK. And I make a blend in a little bit. Let's see. I think I'm going to make it on soft light. Now if you want to move it, 
You always can. I'm going to move it to right there. And then, yeah. Then make a new layer. Go to your brushes. And I got a couple little swirly thing, swirly brushes. Right, let's make it a color white. No, let's make a, yeah, color white. I'm just going to go everywhere. Just all over it with all different brushes like this. You can put them anywhere you want. As long as it looks pretty. Let's add a little bit of that, and there you go. Then I'm going to go to your blender, what I call it a blender. I was just going to mess around with how you want to blend it. Let's put it on soft light. Yeah, soft light seems to be good. All right, and then press on your bottom layer. Merge visible. And let's go to a font. Make sure it's, I don't know what color I used before, but I'll find it. Let's see, what font did I use? Let's see. Oh, I used Quilted Butterfly. And let's make it size 30. Let's put it in the corner right here. Mm, let it come out. Oh, that's too big. Let's make a size eight. And then just do your site name. I'm gonna make it smooth because I usually like it like that. Um, no, actually, no. I kind of like it how I was on none. Control T again. Just make it however big you want it. And make it like that. the blend mode again. Let's see how this blends in. Let's do it on overlay. Now if you don't want it to be the color white, you can always use the color black. And it'll look like that. Actually I like it like that. So yeah, use the color white and make the blend mode on overlay. Then bottom click the bottom layer, merge visible. And there you go. You have your simple sign. Um, comment, like it, do anything, I don't care, credit, gotta credit it, and hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching, bye.